What is up guys? Welcome to another video on the 23 Rides channel and today I am specifically riding the Super Meteor 650 to my office. The reason why I am doing that is I want to share with you the practical traffic ride experience in the peak rush hour. I am travelling from Noida to Gurgaon so this will actually give you a great idea of how the Super Meteor 650 feels in bumper to bumper traffic. So right now it's almost 8.15 am and if you travel from Noida to Gurgaon or vice versa you know how the conditions are on the road. So let's see how this machine fares in the Delhi Gurgaon traffic. While we did our ride yesterday, uh, the long 400 odd kilometer ride. Uh, we didn't get a chance to ride too much of this motorcycle in the bumper to bumper traffic and that is what we will try and do. We are all set with the machine and this time around since I am going to office this is kind of the first time that I am not suited up. Uh, kind of do not have any customer meetings so wanted to just ride and hence wearing a jeans not the proper riding gear. Uh, I have the riding jacket gloves and the helmet but can't actually wear the riding pant I think you would understand so we'll be riding slow easy riding today towards office the commute from my place to my office in Gurgaon is almost 65 kilometers out of which approximately 30 kilometers are on the expressway uh, the main struggle starts when you reach Noida and head towards Delhi and the cruiser riding position is of course perfect for riding to office because you will not rush. You don't intend to ride the cruisers hard. At least I don't intend to do that. I mean these are the most enjoyable roads that you will I think get in the Delhi NCR region the roads in Greater Noida. As you can see lush green. I was about to say lush green outfield. Cricket ka bahut zada dimag mein gyan basa hua hai but lush green surroundings so you see these bumps this one is a longer speed breaker no issues on the super meteor 650 in terms of ground clearance are kya ho gaya hashtag faltu ki revenge Greater Noida Agaman ke liye dhanne baad. Okay, babe. So now we are on the Kalandi Kunj bridge and expecting to get traffic in the next 50 meters. So as we get into traffic, I'll try and talk about three major areas which I feel which would help you determine uh, if a motorcycle is good in riding through traffic or not first obviously is the weight second is the seat height and third is the wheelbase so the super meteor 650 as you know is a heavy motorcycle it weighs in almost 250 kgs it's like 240 and change this bike is definitely not the lightest of motorcycles that you will get in fact just for comparison it is kind of weighing almost in the range of the 1250 gs my Tiger, the Tiger that I had, the Tiger 800, weighs almost like 210 max. So from a reference standpoint, you get the idea. This is not a light motorcycle. But riding in bumper to bumper traffic, I think there is more to a motorcycle's capability than just the weight. How do you handle that weight is dependent on, I think, two main factors. One is the wheelbase. The wheelbase for a cruiser like this one is definitely longer than other motorcycles so while going in and out of gaps right you need to be doubly sure of how long the motorcycle is and how how much is the turning radius of course you're not going to make a u-turn here god forbid if you want to do that but uh, still you need to be wary of how long the motorcycle is but what makes things very easy is the very friendly seat height the seat height i think is just apt for the indian audience i at six feet i mean i can bend my knees and flat foot 
uh, but for even for folks who are like 5453 five, they can easily ride this motorcycle so that actually reduces the stress on your legs if you reach a situation where the bike may tip over so that said uh, i think navigating the machine in traffic is not an issue close gaps you just need to be wary of like i am doing right now uh, the other factor that i want to talk about is the heat almost 9 am right now as you can see the 650 twins are known to manage their heat pretty well and today i think we'll give you a good idea of how well the motorcycle heats because right now as you can see i am not wearing my riding pant the riding pants actually have some insulation and to top it all when you're wearing those boots so almost half of your leg is protected by the heat insulation that the boots offer so in these plain jeans i will for sure experience if there is any heat or not as you see my leg is almost touching the engine as well so as of now first five minutes stuck in traffic uh, there is no issue i just need to be wary that i do not touch the engine when it is boiling hot and another thing that i would like to talk about is the clutch action the clutch is not very light it is for sure taking some sort of effort to pull it in and release of course it goes with the macho feel that the royal enfield brand offers everything is going to be uh, you know something that you will have to muscle around but okay it's manageable so uh, with some sort of practice you will feel that this is something that you can manage oh this is a small space got stuck this for sure feels good right revving it in stop good traffic as you can see it's a task maneuvering this just need to be aware of the overall dimensions right I mean when your feet are flat footing properly and there is no issue with the seat height you feel a lot more confident right so that is what is happening that's why this 250 kg machine is not causing any issues this is like a crazy place yaar kalandi kunj in at 9 am in the morning <laughs> wow <laughs> super rush yaar on the super meteor now i'm starting to feel some sort of heat and uh, the heat that i'm feeling right now mind you is uh, okay ish but you have to consider that we are in somewhere in february which is kind of the warmest february that we have seen so far in north india in the last few years already touching 30 plus degrees in temperature so if this was in june or july then this heat would definitely get to you that's why i always say wear your riding pants आ जा भाई तू भी आ जा तू भी आ जा नकली एयरपोर्ट लगा के आ जा तो समाओ भी यार फ्रीड फ्रॉम दैट इंटरसेक्शन अट जा भाई अट जाओ मेरे जूते वाला लाल और ऑडी वाला लाल है मैचिंग परफेक्टली so on those long rides you don't get to test out uh the fast shifting that is needed in bumper to bumper traffic and happy to report that the shifting is silky smooth there is no issue at all uh, i haven't missed slotting in the gear even once <laughs> so that sort of refinement is good on an ari mode cycle the gears feel absolutely perfectly tuned for cruiser riding and are slotting in the first effort that you make with your left foot riding to office is like fun on a twin cylinder right you keep on enjoying that amazing exhaust load that 
gives you company throughout the ride. And got donkey as he get as he potholes, making life even more difficult. Tagada jam hai, yar. Tagada hai scene. I know if there are any Mumbaiers or folks from Bangalore watching, they will say that this is nothing compared to what they get in their cities. But our threshold is set according to what we have experienced so far. So, can you use this machine for commuting on a daily basis from home to work? I think so. You can. It's just about getting used to the longer wheelbase. That's it. Nothing of an issue while riding this in heavy traffic. And the machine also doesn't stall. I mean, we see a lot of high-powered machines struggling at low revs. The way the engine is tuned, there is loads, loads of torque right from the moment when you release the clutch. So stalling is non-existent. Gear shifting is near perfect, and the torque that you feel with the sudden acceleration that you do is very entertaining. So net net, I feel this is a good motorcycle for city use as well. Kudos to Royal Enfield for ensuring that this addresses the traffic conditions that we get in India. Suspension. Thoda sa kam kar lo and this will be near perfect. What the fuck is that helmet, man? Is that an ADV helmet with a reversed beak? How do you do that? Bike kya karke chala raha hai helmet ko? Never seen something like this. Oh man, he has actually reversed the beak. Crazy stuff, man. India mein aisa bhi hota hai yar. Kuch bhi kar lete hain log. I had to remove the beak of my helmet when I, while I was riding the cruiser. I removed it and kept it home. This guy, the guy there, if you can see, has reversed the beak. <laughs> Why amazing, eh, tu yar? I can try and describe the situation. इन अंग्रेजी बट जो हिंदी में बोलने की फील है ना लैंटर लगे पड़े हैं समय इतना ज्यादा ट्रैफिक है बैंड बच गया नीचे से जाऊंगा तो ट्रैफिक मिलेगा ऊपर से जाऊंगा तो ट्रैफिक मिलेगा जाऊं कहा क्या हुआ पड़ा है भाई क्या करके मानोगे आज फुल ऑन जैम यार फुल ऑन वीडियो के चक्कर में ऐसी की तैसी हो गई भाई भाई ये ले लो ट्रैफिक के मजे असली अबे हटना यार ट्रस्ट में गाइस इस इज आर अ प्रैक्टिकल और डिटेल्ड रश आर राइड रिव्यू ऑफ द सुपर मीटी और सिक्स फिफ्टी आपको मिलेगा नहीं कहीं ये बिल्कुल एक्चुअल प्योर सिनेरियो है डेट आई एम शोइंग टू यू कि ट्रैफिक में क्या बैंड बचता है सो गाइस फाइनली वी रीच आर ऑफिस आफ्टर दिस डिजास्टरस मॉर्निंग राइड टॉर्चरस मॉर्निंग राइड आई थिंक मी टेकिंग ऑल द पेन गेव यू ऑल दैट आइडिया of how the super meteor 650 fares in traffic i tried to be as detailed as possible and show you the real world scenario if you are taking this out in the rush hour time in a metropolitan city do share your thoughts in the comment section below while i head on and start my day at work ek baat batao meri gaadi pe sticker tha bike pe nahi ab kya karu sir